Rob, why don't you tell us a little bit about who Rudy Kling was? Okay. You know, I like the idea of Rudy Kling. I like telling the story of Rudy Kling for a mural, but just in general as a Lamont history. The story of Rudy Kling is pretty cool. If you can imagine the popularity of NASCAR today, if, if somebody from Lamont were to win the gold, uh, gold cup or whatever it is at NASCAR and come back and be, a part from, be from Lamont, it would be a big event. That's what Rudy Kling was in the 30s to Lamont, but he raced airplanes instead of cars. Okay, so Rudy Kling was a, an airplane racer who lived here in town. He was very proud of the fact that he lived here in Lamont, that he was based here in Lamont. He grew up in the Lamont area uh, on a farm. I believe they were growing corn. Uh, he then had a garage where he fixed cars, and that was out on uh, near Lamont Road and uh, I-55. Um, but he built an airplane in downtown Lamont. Uh, his airplane was called Jupiter, and it was uh, the airplane that he used to win some fairly uh, important trophies in the world of air racing. Air racing at the time was a very popular sport. From what I understand, something like 125,000 people would show up to these air races in Cleveland. I, I mean, yeah, that's a huge number. I don't know if that's, maybe it's 25,000. I don't know, but it, it's a lot, it's a big number. So it was a popular sport at the time. And uh, Rudy Kling won this big trophy in 1937 in September in Cleveland. He uh, then came back to Lamont where he, they threw a big party for him, they had a big celebration. Um, it was a big deal. He then, in December of that same year, uh, he was flying in another race down in Miami and uh, he crashed and died on his 29th birthday. So, it's a, it's a tragic story, but it's a local story. It's a cool history to share with people about Lamont. It's another way of showing Lamont's history. Um, 